last 2020 question number two elective maths now we are being told to evaluate integral four to x to the power three plus three all over x square dx so we have our integral four to x cubed plus three all over x square dx now from algebra we know that if you have a plus b all over c this is the same as what a over c plus b over c so we apply this over here and this is equal to our integral 4 to and this is the same as x to the power 3 all over x squared plus 3 all over x squared dx now from here in this is when you are dividing the base are the same we stop track the exponent so from here this is the same as integral 4 to and this is going to be x plus we have 3 x negative to the x right here you are going to get 3 minus 2 which is 1 but then with this one we have 3 over x to the power 2 and we know that if you have a to the power um, negative and this is the same as 1 over a n so if i have 1 over a n i can transpose it to a to the power negative n and since i have 3 over x square the x will come on top which will be 3 x negative 2. Now from here, I can integrate from here. Now when I integrate, now we have x, so that will be x to the power 1 plus 1, all over 1 plus 1. Then plus, we have 3x negative 2 plus 1, all over negative 2 plus 1. And then our limit of integration, that is we have 4, 2. Now let's simplify this. So from here, we have x to the power 2 all over 2 plus 3x. Now, negative 2 plus 1, that is negative 1 all over negative 1. Now, our limit, we have 4, 2. Now, from here, we have x to the power 2 all over 2. And then the negative, we change the positive, so we have negative. Now, this we can change to be 3 x 3 over x because of the negative one on top all from this property now now let's substitute 4 inside so you have 4 square all over 2 minus 3 all over 4 wherever you see x we put 4 the upper limit minus we have we put 2 inside so 2 to the power 2 over 2 minus 3 all over 2 now from here what do you have 4 to the power 2, that's 16. 16 divided by 2, that is 8. So you have 8 minus 3 over 4. Minus. Now, this will give us 4 over 2, that is 2. So you have 2 minus 3 all over 2. Now, let's simplify this. Uh, let's multiply 3 with the negative. So you have 8 minus 3 over 4 minus 2. Now, negative and negative plus 3 all over 2. 8 minus 2. 2 is giving us 6. 8 minus 2, so we have 6. That is this, and that's 6. So we have 6 minus 3 over 4 plus 3 over 2. Now let's find the LCM. The LCM here is 4. Every whole number is over 1. We're going to 4, 4 times 4 times 6. That is 24. This will cancel this 4 minus 3. And then 2 going to 4. That is um, 6. 2 times times 3, so we have 6. So um, this will give us, that is 3, so we have 27 all over 4, and this is just 6.75. If you have not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe. You see the books on the screen, get a copy for yourself, it will help you a lot.